survival, but in the non-traditional sense. This I am a big fan of. Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. This is Nobody the Turnaround. There's a very interesting story about Nobody the Turnaround. This game taking place in a dystopian modern-day uh, fictional Chinese city, but a game that reminds me a lot of Change and Hobo Tough Life and also perhaps games like Big Ambitions, a few games that you may have already seen on the channel. This game is uh, open world and survival, not in the sense of it being like an island paradise gone wrong or something along the lines of like Bioshock where it's like freaks or, or zombies, mutants, whatever you want to call it from any other previous games. No, this one is just day-to-day -day survival of normal people getting jobs to make ends meet and try to make a buck in order to find their next meal and or a safe place to sleep for the night. Well, this scenario known as debt trap in the game is basically our father on the run and we the older brother of the family who also has a sister is going to have to try to pay back a loan or a debt of 10,000 as now he's basically gambled all the money and fled for the hills he's on the run from these loan sharks mobsters gangsters essentially now there's a little bit of a story about this game and we'll cover that in just a minute hang with me because it's going to be quite interesting and uh, there's a, a lot going on with this one that i bet you can't find on steam anymore i would link to it i would tell you to download it but currently it's not available to do so i'll get into that in a moment but anyway the loan sharks yo kid you owe me money right your deadbeat dad's on the run so the debt is now on you don't you play dead. I know you're there. Township, public school, sophomore year, class one. Did I get it right? What do you want, you frickin' fricks? Ah, looks like somebody has a younger sister, huh? Relax. We're civilized people. Fork over the 10k you owe, and it's all good. I don't have money. Now I know, right? You need time to make it. I'm nice enough to get you a grace period. Pay up in a month, and of course there's interest of 100 per day, but before you say it, this is totally legal. The loan has your... Whole family's names on it is co-borrowers. We had no idea he was gambling the loan away. No, none of my damn business. The debt passes down. You bolt like your dad and your sister's on the radar. Might is well handed to her. Girls make easy money. Catch my drift. Shut up. Don't you ever touch her. Uh, or I'm going to kill every each and every one of you. Ah, that's the spirit. Just pay your debt and we won't have to deal with any of this BS. Uh, you wait for a bit. No more messages from the loan shark. Still, the conversation's way too unnerving. Yeah, so now we're getting a, a phone call from a friend. As we're apparently arriving in this town from this bus. This is kind of a cutscene or whatnot, but let's pick up that phone. Ah, actually, this is our sister. All right. Uh, where are you? Uh, me? I'm at the pharmacy picking up prescription for mom. Oh, yeah, uh, good. The pharmacy? Yeah, don't, don't uh, worry about the uh, loan sharks. Did they bother you? Who? Oh, you mean them? No, they've been leaving me alone since last time. Oh, good. Uh, listen, this is my fault, and I'm so sorry. No, don't. It's Dad's fault. A.K.A. your father. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, enough of that. How have you been? Doing great. Outsmarting trouble every way. Healthy as a horse. Ooh, traits hunk. Take care of yourself. We don't want you to fall sick. Oh, I see. We're picking our traits based on our responses to our sister now. Okay. Uh, well, I'll go to the city when mom's able to walk again. Then let's work out a way to pay the debt. Sure. Great. You're awfully sweet, you know. Whoever you're going to date doesn't deserve you unless he's maybe as awesome as I am. Uh, who I am is basically uh, a super human bread earner. Acrobat. Nice. Ah, oh, you're full of yourself, and then some. Over the phone, you hear the pharmacy's PA system. Customer 52, your prescription is ready for pickup. Oh, uh, gotta go. Later. Don't forget uh, to be nice to people, right? Oh, we're, we have a lucky dog trait now. So based on all of our responses with people, it seems like we'll have different relationship stats and um, maybe get different traits and other very pivotal things that will benefit us or possibly uh, be uh, a negative debuff, perhaps. Okay. Oh, bus is coming to a stop. All right. Time to begin. Here we go. Yeah, so as I was mentioning, a little bit of an interesting story with Nobody the Turnaround. The game dropped in November of 2022, and pretty much within 24 hours of its initial release, the developers took it down from Steam due to a critical Windows error that some people who purchased the game were experiencing. 
quite honorable if you ask me, taking their game down to try to fix it for anybody who may have had that version of Windows who might have purchased the game and then not been able to play it. And so that was back then, back in November of 2022. And so for about six months now, getting close to it, uh, this game has been not available on Steam, unless you happen to purchase it at that time. A very interesting story for this game, but uh, I don't know exactly if they've abandoned the game or whatnot, but damn, it's a really interesting game with great artwork, great music, a great atmosphere, and a very cool open world to explore to try to make ends meet. We've all played games like The Sims before, and you may have seen games like Hobo Tough Life and also Big Ambitions and a few others of the uh, urban variety, meaning that, you know, instead of being on an abandoned island or uh, washing up on a shore or just trying to survive somewhere out in the wild, we're in the harsh environment of humanity. Yeah, so we're going to try to get ourselves a job in construction and or go and try to get some bikes together and try to repair them or do odd jobs for business owners and eventually try to be, well, a somebody, starting from a nobody to a somebody. So welcome aboard. Good to see you all here. Thanks again for all the support. Check it out, by the way. This game doesn't just have one major story, but actually three of them, a challenge mode and also a sandbox mode too, which is pretty impressive. So it's a, almost an endless open world game for you to play, but there are stories such as the debt trap, uh, where your father has abandoned the family. It's up to you to go into town and try to pay back the loan sharks and try to get jobs of any uh, magnitude in order to try to make cash. There's also, of course, a failing relationship where you're trying to marry your significant other in a world where lots of money is needed to do basic things. And the jobs that are available are kind of like dead-end part-time jobs and you want more but what can you do and there's also of course starting out young and being lost in the big city being a 17 year old and trying to start your own chapter of life other games similar to this you may have seen include also change that just came to mind uh, going around busking and trying to get off the streets and, and stay somewhere for the night and so this game certainly brings you from the very beginning literally starting from ground zero and working your way all the way up to perhaps a business mogul and a tycoon and entrepreneur who knows the possibilities are endless well for now let's jump back into debt trap and continue our playthrough thanks again for watching let's go well here we are so yeah a little bit of a convoluted intro to this game or rather my video but uh thanks for sticking with me is now we finally enter the open world Oh, hello. Uh, just off the bus, you're approached by a middle-aged woman. Hi there, need a room? Got plenty in my hostel. Oh boy, is this a, is this a trap man? Mm, you need a place for the night, right? Now well, the sidewalks look comfy enough. Are you kidding? It's cold at night and of course not safe. Here's the deal. I'll give a uh, room to new renters, a free bed for the night, Rent it tomorrow if you have the money. What do you say? Oh, a little sampler. Okay. Sure. That, that sounds just fine, ma'am. Uh, we don't really have any money, so let's go with the shared room for free. Yes. All right. So here's our stats and everything. We've got uh, an ID card, a phone. We can change our clothing. We can carry around trash and merch. We have 51 yen. We'll just call it dollars for now. Uh, different traits. We have cool, fed, neatness, hygiene, satisfaction. And we have uh, different traits that we got mostly on the phone. But I'm sure this will build based on who we talk to and what we do for jobs. Now, eventually, we need to work our way up from uh, what we are now. Uh, let's see here. There's a way to check it out. Oh, we have skills that we can unlock. So uh, we have no skill points yet. But eventually, we can unlock toughness, smart, deft, and keen. And then work our way down this tech tree. Not even tech tree, but just skills and different, um, I guess, traits. Eventually, making our way to businessmen. IT guru, R doc. Oh, so we can go into like, wow, interesting. So we can go into things like accounting, IT, auto engineer, welding, chef. All right. Now, as you can see at the bottom, we start at basically, uh, well, as you saw as I scrolled past it, right now we're a sorry ass. We got to work our way up to a nobody, though. That's what we're striving for. Then work our way to striver, upstart, excellent success, and then have some big old life goals, which would be quite cool, too. So uh, let's go back to just take, take a look at that one more time. Yeah, you can see it at the bottom. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a hard start. Right now, we're okay to be a recycler and a brick mover. So let's go try to get a job either recycling or moving bricks. I think eventually we can hand out flyers. And then there's something about being able to um, move buck like bikes uh, around the town to different bus stops, I think. So people can... Uh, hello. 
Hi. So yeah, uh, the city has bikes that they rent to people, and so I think if they go missing, we can uh, tidy them up and whatnot. Hi, how have you been doing? Are you interested in vocational training? Oh, yes, please. Uh, pardon? Uh, we have a non-profit vocational training school offering courses like cooking, welding, and automobile. Oh, this is going to be a, a, worth a lot of money. Um... How much does it cost? Practically no cost. We're covered by the government subsidies. There's a scholarship if you pass the entry exam. Pretty much covering the entire tuition. You can take the exam now if that sounds reasonable. Uh, okay. Oh, no. We got to take a damn test. Uh, all right. We don't have to fill in our name or anything for points, do we? All right. Well, one minus two. Uh, well, that's one. Oh, yeah. There we go. C. Okay. So we got to take this whole test in order to get into the f vocational training, or at least to be accepted for jobs. One minus two is one. Uh, one, two, three. That's easy as one, two, three. That's actually um, six. Yep. Uh, let's see. 36 divided by four divided by three. Uh, that is three. Wait. Yeah. Okay. And then five plus five times five. Well, that's a big O30 right there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Fill in the blanks. Answer in numerals. Got um, Four. Four. Okay. Yeah. Just counting the ones. Uh, if you cut off one of the angles in a triangle, how many angles would be left? Four. That makes a square. Well, not a square, but something similar. Uh, chickens, rabbits are put in the same cage. 30 feet could be seen. If five rabbits are among them, how many chickens are there in the cage? Uh, is there a wolf nearby? Okay, divide by 27. Care okay, what are the taxes? Let's see, it's a 1099T miscellaneous filing is a, let's see, single, no dependents, so that's five. Okay, perfect. And then, uh, what? Find X. Oh, uh, five X. Oh, uh, and 52. Yeah, okay, that makes it 10. No, 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 10. Okay. I don't know if there's a wrong answer if I type it in wrong the first time. And then we got to do A through Z. They really, they're seriously asking me to type this out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All the way to Z. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I hope I got this right. No freaking way. <laughs> I thought it was going to get 10, not 100. Please leave your contact info here for further communication. Oh, uh, yeah. Make sure you subscribe for further communication, too, from YouTube in terms of the um, notification bell and the notification system. Cool. No freaking way. Not that smart. What's going on over there? Let's go look around. Now we can uh, move around with the mouse, and we can also move around with WASD. So if we click, he'll move to where you kind of see the footprints plopped on the ground, which is kind of cool. Uh, otherwise, we can just move through the crowds this way. The guy on the loudspeaker must just be advertising... Uh, the vocational training. This is the police station here. Uh, there's a crowd next to the bulletin board. Uh, you think they're bombarding her, this woman with questions about jobs. She's running out of patience, bothering herself with an answer. Uh, seeing a new face, which is you, she beckons you to come closer. New boy, looking for a job? Go to the board. Gig jobs are all there. Oh, good. Uh, to make 10K within a month, gig jobs are pretty much your only hope. By gig jobs, I mean those paying by the day. Oh, so they're telling me that the only way we can pay back our dad's $10,000 is by taking jobs on a construction site. That's a good one. Uh, anything else? Not yet. Leave your phone number here. I'll call you when something else comes up. Okay. Uh, let's do Brick Mover. But looks like we can sort inventory, promote, heavy lifting. We can be uh, a singer known as Usher. Uh, chef Aide, a.k.a. Sous Chef, I suppose. Mascot. Uh, security Guard. Interesting. Um, wow, 180 per day. That seems like a good one. That's the only one that advertised the... Uh, <laughs> this one's saying not a scam. All right. Well, the brick mover is the one they recommended, so let's go with that. Base wage is 90. Well, there's also a broker fee of 10%. Scam. Auto mode. Wages for reference only. It'll increase our toughness, our relations, lower our hygiene, and our neatness. Ah, uh, so hygiene is our body, and neatness is our clothing. So we'll, we'll have to shower and do laundry. It's like there's separate stats. That's kind of cool. Uh, your latent speed depends on your tough. Uh, job takes five hours. Okay. Let's go. 
Okay, so press F to pick up bricks, and then we're supposed to sort them into the uh, bins. All right, game start. Oh, really? All right. It begins. Okay, we need 20 of these. Okay, so we'll earn three there. Oh, so we got to do like... Oh, this is like when I got my first job at Shemu, driving forklifts in Japan. This is like my first job as a kid. Oh, boy. Let's grab two of these. And we need five of those other ones. Wow, we're going to earn barely anything. Tough increases your movement speed. Uh, oh, I see. We can't really move too fast here. Okay, let's get five more. Let's see. Cool. Can I drop these? I guess not. Oh, we have to put these back in the pile. Scammed. We move awfully slow when we're burdened like this. Let's go with this one. Get another set of smooth bricks. And we'll get two of these. Might be all we have time for. So this job will get easier and we'll make more money as we do it more because we'll become stronger. Nice. Alright, end of the day. Job complete. Piles moved six. Yeah, not bad. Uh, you're wasted after four... I thought it was five. Long hours of heavy lifting. Time to get your pay from the foreman. Foreman addresses you with a half glance and... Pushed over a tiny pile of tattered money, and that was that. Petty wage doesn't even deserve counting, but you did it anyway. Turns out it's 30 yen short. Hey, this is 30 yen short. A smirk. <laughs> a new boy on the job, huh? Yeah, it's in the rules. The foreman takes a small cut in the first pay processing fee. Yeah, they did mention that up front. That was in the fine print of 10%. Uh, he's not even looking in your general direction. And how many shifts did you cover? One? I'm already giving a discount, uh, or you won't have nothing left. The argument's attracting attention. Several guys are closing. Uh-oh. Is there going to be a fight? Guys are closing in. The air around them seems to spell bullies. Uh, what? You can't just exploit new workers like that. Saying that, you try to grab him and shake the 30 off his gloating body. I make the rules, and I sure can. The foreman kicks you right in the belly. Oh, boy. Mood negative 50. His minions fall upon you before you regain your breath. Wow, we're getting our ass beat. And that was the first day. Wow. Nobody the turnaround. Not quite the intro, I'd say. That's our goal, to get up into those buildings. Day two. All you care about is getting through the day. Getting a phone call. Tonight's the deadline, boy. Oh, it's the uh, 100 yen we owe him. Shift to run. Oh. Oh, right. We stayed in the uh, house this lady offered us. The landlady offered us the um, the hostel for the night. Morning, dear. How's the night? Uh, not bad, thank you. I made the bed. Oh, what'd you do to your face? Got in a fight? Uh, yeah, a couple guys on the construction site. Landlady gives an understanding nod. Maybe she's seen this a lot. You take good care of yourself, will you? There are nasty people out there. Uh, thank you, I'm good. Uh, the job center is now open. You might want to get there early. Head west or take a stroll in the park if you don't feel like it. 
Uh, oh, are you staying here again tonight? Yes or no? Just don't sleep on the sidewalk, will you? Uh, yes, I'll make... I'll take a room here. Oh, now we gotta pay 20. Alright, we'll do the shared room again. Task accepted park, so they want us to go there. Yeah, now we're now we're upgraded to a sorry ass, or, well, we are a sorry ass who wants to be a nobody. Goals, ladies and gentlemen, goals. All right, well, she said west, so let's look around. So each one of these people we can interact with. Yeah, we can rent a bike. We can go into stores. We can buy stuff. We can uh, chat with people, maybe pet the doggo. Oh, dude, you can pet the dog. Game of the year. Taking a long time. Maybe this will improve our mood a little bit, which was, of course, shaken by not only being beaten, but by kind of coming to the reality of that with the uh, with the lady there. Oh, we got to eat now. What's our stat for that? Like that. Is this the uh, place we were just in? Oh, we could tidy up here a little bit. I can't go in there. It's the women's room. Oh, right. I didn't, I didn't know that. Wasn't paying attention. Uh, give yourself a quick wipe down in the public restaurant uh, restroom. Oh, there's like a random system. Oh, cool. There was a 1% chance or a 1 in 3 chance to f basically have a debuff of being sick. That would have been bad. Oof, look at these lines. Can't I just join the army? I think there's like over a million people in that army. Alright, job task, or job center task complete. Cool. Uh, what can we do next? We're still only qualified to be a brick mover. I think. Is there anything else we could do? Let's check. We have no skill points still. We're starting to get our toughness up, though. But it looks like if we go for smarts, deft, or keen, that's what will unlock different jobs for us. So, again, we can go down the usher, the mascot tier, or the apprentice, or uh, car service, which then leads us into auto engineer, and then eventually associate, which is not available yet. I'm not sure what that means exactly, but uh, let's go move bricks again, shall we? How do we do that? Or maybe we should go to the park. We'll go to the park afterwards. Let's move some more bricks. How do I, uh... Oh, wait a minute. I think we got to click on that specific little marker there. Okay, not on the board itself. All right, let's do some more labor. And we can do it auto, but I think I'm going to do manual again. And then we're going to try to go to the park. Now, each of these areas of the map, which I'll show you in a moment, has different things we can do, too. So this is kind of the job board that has a lot of basic jobs, but there are other jobs we can take from other people around the town. Okay, so we need one brick here. Ah, uh, now it gets a little more complicated, doesn't it? This is going to be all about our smarts. Cool. We should earn at least 14 there. These guys are working on the same sections of, uh framing and rebar as they were yesterday. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Go for that eight. No, not those bricks, please. Let's go for that seven. Now, I think eventually we can also buy like tools and equipment for our jobs too we can actually supply our own like clothing so if we get a different outfit we could stay neater for longer or possibly buy gloves that could allow us to move things faster that type of thing so that's pretty cool that way go ahead and see if we can get these ones done here uh, i don't think so i'm gonna go for that one up in the corner for an extra three but hey we just made 90 plus another 32 not bad and we got a new level of toughness and proficiency. There we go. Now we got some skill points. Nice. 
Okay, cool. Relations increasing. Uh, hygiene dropping a little bit. And same with cleanliness. And our mood, of course, plummeting a little bit too. And our broker taking a 10 off the top. All right, good. Hey, man. Guy in a white hard hat approaches you at the construction site. Excuse me, I left my wallet at home. Could you uh, lend me eight kwai for lunch? Oh, sure thing. Why not? Hey, I've seen you a few times. What do you do? Uh, I'm on a day pay job. Oh, you mean moving bricks. How'd you know? Well, that's the only day job here is moving bricks. I'm Cow, the supervisor. Nice to meet you. Oh, damn, we're in with the supervisor? You have no idea what a supervisor is. It sounds awesome, though, being super and stuff. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir, Mr. Cow. Oh, you found this job through a broker, right? Yeah, the bulletin board in town. Oh, you can come here anytime you want without the middleman. If anyone asks, just say you're referred by Mr. Cow. Oh, now we don't have to worry about the damn middleman broker fee anymore. He points at his site at the site entrance, indicating the door is always open for you. That should save you some broker fee. Thank you, sir. Yeah, don't serve me. Have a good day. I'll have your money back next time. Oh, he forgot his wallet. Cool. Well, that's awesome. All right, so we'll have to come back here again and see if we can get our uh, money back from this guy, but not too big of a deal. Can we get a nice, like, rice bowl or something here? What are you eating? A combo meal. I'll take one of those. Uh, Take one, please. Ah, nice. Very nice. Oh, good. We got our cool and some other stuff for doing that. Ah, here's all the tools and things we can buy. We can buy, like, uh, wrenches and uh, looks like thermoses and other things for random jobs, it seems. So lots and lots of stuff to do. This must be the park. Let's take a walk. Take a walk in the park. Let's go. And then challenge Grandpa to game of chess. Oh, hell. I don't think it's actual traditional chess. I think it might be uh, perhaps a maybe a Chinese style chess, something that's similar to chess. Go for another quick wipe down. Hey, all right. Hygiene back up, nice. Must feel good after a day at work like that. Okay, well it's only 14.06, so we got a little bit of time. Ooh, park task completed, mood plus 20. Uh, you have a makeshift shooting range in the park. Air rifle and balloons. There's no prize, but you'll enjoy shooting things. Okay. We can do that to get up on the um, happiness a little bit. We have a ring toss. So lots of little games. Little carny games for fun, I suppose. Hmm. A little physical exercise. Okay, this is a way for us to get our strength up without actually having to do some of those jobs or to double down on it. Let's see. Basketball? Oh. I don't know if I'm going to get my butt kicked by those guys. I'm going to stay out of there. Hmm. Let's see what else there is to do. Oh, they kind of recommend that we do that. All right, hold on. Let's run back and see if we can shoot some balloons. We'll take whatever task they give us. Maybe we'll get some other bonuses for it. And then we have to go play uh, checkers. So, all right. Well, no ring toss for us, but I don't mind shooting balloons. Cash minus five. Uh, shoot the blue balloon. How the hell does this work? Oh, weird. The mouse controls are very strange. Okay, I see how that works. kind of only do it at like 90 degree angles kind of it's really strange oh missed finished balloons hit nine one missed mood plus nine ah so each balloon is a plus one mood all right well that makes up for getting the crap beat out of us and the walk in the park and the balloon shot really did it nicely oh and plus five tough and five deft really so we pay a little bit for our skills it seems well, let's go for Grandpa, then. Maybe that's going to be something for wits. We'll go see if we can beat him in a game of chess. And maybe we'll get our fortune. But that might be better at the start of a day. So we can rent bikes.
anything uh, caught in that damn river? Gray dog. All right, we got a little bit of time before we go home, so let's see if there's any other jobs around. That guy doing... Is he making keys there? Oh, there's a laundry mat. Uh, quick laundry. Drop off today, pick up tomorrow. Oh, we'd need a change of clothes before that then. Maybe we can find clothing. The guy doing some grinding. Chow's ride. Oh, man, watch it. Jeez, this, this guy with no regard for anybody else. Uh, there's got to be a way to buy some clothes around here. What is that? A gutter full of dirty water with garbage bobbing up and down. Try to fish up something. Oh, God. Tried scooping around in the river and fished up a pile of junk. The upside down river is now a little bit cleaner. Oh. Respect plus one. Hygiene minus five. Neatness minus five. Great. Well, we might be able to find some clothing if we find a discount store. There's a lot of stores on the main road, but there could be maybe second hand clothes around. Oh, there's a warehouse there. More rent-a-bikes. Uh, oh, this is the police station, I think. Oh, the quarantine. Not necessarily uh, renovation, but quarantine, it seems. Police, is there something I could do for you guys? Volunteer needed. Uh, we're hiring social workers. Responsibilities include moving uh, shared bikes, documenting homeless people, and picking up trash. Okay. Willing to help. Uh, sure. Start volunteer social work. will take two hours. All right. Uh, clean the road of organized bikes and sort trash. Uh, organize. Okay. So those uh, little bike rental areas, we just need to tidy up. Let's show a little hustle. So apparently this is social work. I was thinking about, well, they did men mention like working with the homeless and whatnot, but I was picturing something a little bit more like, um, well, like that. Not organizing bikes. Uh, let's see, there was some down here, wasn't there? Can't remember where we've seen a group of bikes before, but we'll look around a little bit. Oh, here's some. Somebody must be selling clothes down here, too. Somebody, one of these little vendors must be selling a change, change of clothes. That'll be good for us. Oh, there's more. There we go. Wow, we're making great progress here. More vendors. Oh, there's quarantine there. Damn, this city is packed with bikes that you can rent. That's cool. Uh, looks like quarantine there. These must be vaccinations, maybe? Oh, we've completed five. Kind of tired out now. I can't really sprint too much. Was that fish? Nice. Keep looking around. So everything seems to be interactable, like, you know, for fortune tellers and people playing chess and... Every one of these little, um, wow, those looked absolutely delicious. Pe the street vendors, man, that's amazing. We might be able to possibly work with them in the future, too. We might be able to, uh... oh, there we go. We might be able to go get ingredients for them or something. All right, we've got 25 minutes left before the end of our day. Oh, there's a medical place there. If we're feeling sick, we might be able to go here. Okay, so if we got sick from the um, shower, we probably could have gone there. Is this discount clothing? I can't go inside yet. Oh, that's actually our hostel. So that's good. Now, were there any bikes up this way? We'll have to check the other side of the river. Uh, those are his bikes. Oh, it looks like the park's closed. Okay, so we can't go into the park afterwards. I got all the ones that I could find, I guess. They also said to sort trash. 
Clean the road of organized bikes for sort trash. Well, that's kind of a... Okay, I guess I didn't... <laughs> I guess I didn't know I was supposed to do that, too. Sort trash. There, there's probably a few things I missed. I just had bikes on the mind. It's fine. All right, let's go back and see if we can get paid. Hi. That was it? Respect and a little bit of cash? Okay. I'm going to report a crime to the police. Hi, they paid me garbage wages? Just passing by, okay. Alright, I wonder if we can actually be... Uh, as she mentioned, uh, the lady at the start, we might be able to be robbed. So if that happens, we might go to the police. Maybe there's some more storyline for stuff like that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think we can probably go to bed. What's our stat set? Uh, we're in a normal mood. We're fed. Uh, with high depth, you can keep running for a long time. We're also energized, too, and motivated. So things are going well for us. That's good. What if we can uh, chat with that guy? Maybe he wants us to do something. Stand back. Watch out for sparks. Are you doing this all by yourself? Uh, no, mister. Call me bro chow. What do you want? Uh, just passing by. Ooh, if we get relationship up to 60, we can work with him. <gasps> this guy will teach us welding. Cool. We can take all sorts of different jobs. From not only... Uh, Kind of like businesses, but also people, too. Dark inside, you can't see anything from the a, 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 a jar door. Copy your keys, 15 each. Damn it, I was right. He was making keys. I don't have any keys, though. This seems to be a clothing question mark store. A wash and comms. Oh, they sell smartphones. Okay. Hello. Ah, so just by chatting with people, we, we're actually, uh, even just by dropping in and saying hello, it's a good thing. Oh, here's close right here. Hi. Didn't see you earlier. I was on the run. Uh, factory direct sale. $20 each. Don't rummage. Take one or sell old clothes. I'll take one. Please select one. Oh, you gotta do it randomly. Uh, formal shirt, but gives the well-educated look. Might you find some rimless glasses? Um, that's like the U.S. Army symbol right there. Simple design with emphasis on distorted star shape. Uh, it doesn't matter. We just need clothes. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so now we have a change of clothes, so we could get our laundry done. Uh, how's our neatness now? Satisfaction, hygiene, oh, nice, it went up. We should have our old clothes on us, I think. Uh, I thought we would. Yeah, we do, clean 40, okay. We can get those washed. Well, let's see if the laundromat will take our clothing. Uh, drop off the old clothes for 20. Reduce durability of clothing by five points at a time. Oh, wow, so by washing them, their durability drops, so we'll have to buy new clothing no matter what. Okay, that's interesting. So durability and neatness are two important stats for that. Hostel practically next door to the job center, extremely favored by job seekers. Yep, take a room. Uh, let's end our day. Do you want to cancel the action? No. Oh, I guess cancel our day. Wake up, it's payday. Pay 100. There you go. All right, so that's basically what we have to do now is pay 100 per day. Day three in town, normal mood, motivated. Even a shabby bed beats the sidewalk. Ah, so this could be us sleeping on the sidewalk and random events could happen if we were sleeping. Somebody could come up to us and steal our wallet or something that we're carrying on us like a hat, clothing. Uh, night. You spent a night in a shared room of a homely hostel. Not too bad. Hygiene plus 15, neatness plus 8. Cool. Cool, cool. My right, good. Better stats. Alright, well, we could go back to the construction site and chat with that guy. He owes us a favor. Oh, boy, we're down to 78, but at least we'll have some nice clothing. Let's pick that up from the uh, laundromat. Cool. We picked up our clothing. 
Uh, let's check out our inventory. Okay, cool. So both clean. Oh, this is much more durable, this old clothing that we've got. Okay. So we'll just wear this. And then whenever we need to change uh, to wash it, we can just switch to the backup clothes. Not a problem. What if, if we chat with this guy every day, there's a bike there. If we chat with him every day, does that increase our relationship? Hey, man. Oh, okay. Let's try to fish that bike out. Maybe he'll think we're cool. Hey, there we go. We got to rent a bike out. A ton of labor to dr drag the bike up. Looks like it's in perfect working order. Give it a quick wash and leave it by the sidewalk. Oh, respect plus two. All right, so we can actually get good stuff out of the river. Maybe that changes from time to time. Yeah, I, I don't want to rummage through trash. Uh, let's see. Now, there were some other jobs around, so maybe we could get... Uh, oh, there's the construction site up there. We were just on the other side of that river. Um, so we went all the way up to the police station, and then down there is the clinic and a place called Hot Buns. Uh, I have no idea what that is. There's the bus stop we arrived at. We gotta earn a hundred per day. What time is it? Almost eight a.m. Uh, what is this? We work for you. Buying something? Uh, we want to chat with everybody. I think just looking around. You notice a business permit on the wall. The owner's photo and name, which is uh, Shi Depeng. Oh, don't flatter me. This hole in the wall ain't no store. Ooh. Okay, so okay, so the 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 guy working the grinder that's kind of our more welder possible car jobs. The convenience store guy that's going to be more retail and business, and maybe the construction guy could possibly lead to um, maybe he could introduce us to somebody who's a little bit more into business. Like maybe eventually we could meet the accountant on the you know working on the job site that kind of thing. What's going on here? We could gamble. Don't trust that. And there's a gate that's locked here. And that leads to somewhere off map. Okay, so we could do a little bit of gambling too. Hmm. I guess the, our best bet at the moment is the job center. We also got some skills. Now I'm wondering, do we have to spend those skill points or do those mean that we have to? We do, okay. Uh, let's see. Each level increase your junk load by 50 for recycler jobs. Uh, each level increases your time limit by 10 seconds on the brick mover job. Reduce cool loss when your clothes get dirty. Each level reduces your cool by one. Hmm. It's interesting. This one is kind of separated from all the other... Uh... Yeah, it's kind of completely separated from the little timeline. It's kind of all alone down there. Um... I guess we could go with strong and continue to do that, although I'm not sure where we can get recycling. That could be the um, job up by the police station with the bikes, where we also have to worry about the trash. Maybe. There's also a security guard job there. Uh, and a peddler, too. Complete the corresponding quest. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Let's just go with the strong for the... There we go. We'll go with strong for now. Work our way down. All right, let's see. How's our stats on hygiene? Eh, we'll grab something to eat after work. Hygiene's okay. I think we can go straight to the job site. So the job only takes about five hours, so it's possible that we could come here at about noon. What about Flyer Boy? The area's not currently... Oh, it's currently under quarantine. Okay, so later on these will open up. Let's see. Heavy lifting. We should be able to do that. No. Seems like it's going to come down to the brick mover again. Security? No. Inventory sorter. Don't have this skill. Uh, deft improves your movement speed while laden. What's stopping us from getting this job? That gives us the check mark. So I guess that's all we can do at the moment. So I guess to be a peddler, we have to get that skill. That means we have to unlock that or inventory sorter. 
Ah, let's just do some bricks again. But again, there's many different jobs we can do, including the bikes and uh, other odds and ends that others might ask us to do. All right, here we go again. But now this time we're doing great. We're a lot stronger. We got upgraded skills. Feels good, man. Let's see if we can make over 90 today. There we go. Oh, we can actually run. Didn't realize we could use uh, shift. I had tried to use that previously and didn't see a, a difference there. Well, that will make a little bit more money. Uh, but yes, today, because we're at the construction site, we will get more... Uh, money back from that one guy. Also, we don't have to pay that broker fee anymore, do we? Or maybe we actually had to go directly to the uh, construction site. We'll have to see if there's a difference there. Uh, because the guy in the, the white hard hat told us that we kind of like have this special thing now for being cool with him and giving him some money. Let's go with this one. Ah, if only I used the shift a little bit earlier. Ah, uh, we were like two steps away. Hey, four piles move though. And we should have enough to pay for the day. Skill points plus two, excellent. Broker fee still, what the hell? Must be us having to go all the way up to the construction site. So that's how we'll do it in the future, is we'll just walk up here. So we're all the way up at the top. Actually, we're off the map, so no wonder I didn't see it. But yeah, we'll just walk in here and we can just basically do this, right? Yep. Cool. Oh, nice. Now we know uh, the guy here a little bit. Ah, so we can say we're here by Mr. Cow, so we don't have to pay that fee anymore. So they literally mean, like, go to this door. It wasn't just a dialogue Yo, thing. Hey, Mr. Cow. How you doing? Here's the money I owe you. Oh, thanks. You know what? Bring your own gloves and hard hat next time. And I mean for proper protection. Those job issues ones are crap. He points to the row of peddlers behind you. Thanks, I'll buy my own. Good. Now we have 197. So yeah, literally we can buy our own equipment. And now we have a new task. Cool. Uh, I didn't shop yet, but... Uh, so let's see. What does this do exactly? Protects you from job accidents. So we have a hard hat, and it apparently it comes with gloves, but we also have galoshes, a lucky stone, neat earbuds, insulated box, welding mask, leather shoes, a chef knife, and protective gear. So depending on what job we're doing, these will benefit us. Money is like nothing, so let's buy that hard hat for sure. Okay. Now, can we wear that on the job site? Oh, we have two skill points now. I guess we'll keep going down the strong storyline. Or can we unlock Peddler? Need a proper stall location. Ah, we can set up our own stall. Yep, set up your own stall to sell the merch bought in bulk. Ah, from D-Bay. So we can go on our phone, buy stuff, and then start selling it that way. All right, interesting. Interesting indeed. And okay, now we're extra strong. I like Mr. Cow, though. He's been nice to us, so that'd be kind of cool to uh, chat with him. We're working our way slowly to a nobody, which we've unlocked, actually. With adjusted goals, you might want more out of life. Are you sure? So we're going to expect more out of life. So we're going to have to do more. No more sleeping and open or dirty clothes. Keep proper hygiene. Okay. So now we're up to the next level. Then the next one is to boost one job level to five, to which we're already three out of five, so one more day on the job and we've got it. Make a total of 4,000 yen, to which we made 300 and something. 
All right, so now we've got major goals. We're going to finally start expanding our our goals and our, not necessarily our goals, but matching our expectations. We have expectations for ourselves, and we're going to try to match those now. Okay, let's go grab a snack, too. wonder if there's something good down here. It'd be kind of cool if there were new vendors every couple of days. Oh, nobody doing yoga? I've seen in the trailer that uh, grandmas and stuff will go do yoga there, and they are kick-ass. There, There's like some old ladies that'll do some yoga, and they're uh, very hard to keep up with. Oh, they're just chatting. Oh, fried rice? Hell yeah. Thirteen on that one. Satisfaction plus four, cool. I'm imagining that the more expensive some of this food is, the better bonus it'll give us. That probably boosted us quite a bit. Hygiene, we're okay. We'll see if we can get a private room maybe tonight. Trash and merch. Hmm. So every few days we'll uh, go to the laundromat. Can we chat with this guy? Get get to know him. Nope, guess not. More stuff in the river, but I don't want to bother with that. I guess we just got to look and see if anything's there. Who's this guy? Ah, the recycler. Here at the recyclers, owned and operated by a woman named... Uh, known as Auntie Quan. Or Schwan. Schwan? Schwan? Uh, hi there. Oh, our relationships are going up as well. Oh, wow. Ah, so we can go into the garbage cans and we can find tin cans, plastic bottles, cardboard boxes, and maybe scrap metal and battery if we do jobs for the other guy down there. Wow, 90 each for batteries. Damn, that would be an absolute godsend. So I guess we should start checking trash, although it's going to be a negative thing. Rent a bike, take a ride. Ah, we can fast travel now because we, fi uh, we fished the bike out of the uh, damn... Um, River, although we probably just unlocked a fast travel point. Looks like we... Yeah, so, okay. So in the mornings, we can actually bike from our hostel to the construction site, go to work, and then, like, bike, um, I don't know, to the park, look for trash, go this way, and then just walk home, drop off our laundry or something on the way. Damn cool. So there's fast travel in the game. That's cool. Wow, what a day. We had a lot more time left, so let's go to, um, wait, do we have a smartphone with apps? Oh, yeah, <laughs> look at our phone. We've got, yeah, there's D-Bay. So we can buy stuff here and then sell it, as they mentioned, as a peddler. Plastic booties, dispensable raincoats, umbrellas, hard fans, or hand fans, dumb glasses, dinosaurs. We have our map, of course. Oh, no way. We can actually get on a a bus and we can go to a theme park. So that'll probably raise our mood. The hospital, which probably would be a death sentence for us. Well, we might be able to go and buy a car here. Or with the auto dealership, we might be able to get a job doing car salesman stuff in the future. But maybe working on maintenance for the cars. There's the garment market. and uh, So we can buy clothes. Electronics market. Maybe we can buy stuff and then sell it back here downtown. Farmer's market too. And a wholesaler, it looked like. So we can, uh, I guess, buy stuff and bring it back here. There's a hiring app. Job requirement. I think we can get a better job here. There's our sister, the Lone Shark, and Cow Fan. Okay. Oh, there's uh, a little bit of news going on. Interesting. Interesting indeed. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for our first look at Nobody the Turnaround. Just a small sample of what this game has to offer. But I like this game a lot, and I want to come on back and live stream it, as there seems to be quite a lot of content here that just sim simply is behind the, uh, well, the grind, right? I mean, that's the whole point of the game is to eventually unlock more. You can see all these shops and other places in town that we're just not allowed to go to at the moment. It says that it's uh, under renovation, but 
they have the little bit of a COVID thing going on there. So we'll uh, see you all next time as we expand the map. Thanks again for leaving a like, subscribing, and let me know what you think of this game and or other survival games that you'd love to see on the channel down below. Love reading those comments, so leave one for me and let me know what you think. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.